Hey everyone, welcome back to Autodesk Fusion. Today's video is gonna be a little different than my normal video. Typically in my videos, I take you through a 10 minute, 30 minute long video showing you how to create a certain model. But I'm gonna start a new series called Quick Tips with the hope of keeping these videos under five minutes and just showing you something about Fusion you may not know. So let's get right to it. Today's video, I'm going to show you the design shortcuts. And to get to this, you just hit S on the keyboard, which is technically for search. And what this little box does is you can search for one of your tools. So let's say offset. I can start typing it in and a little menu comes up and there is my offset tool. And to get to the offset tool regularly, you'd go up to modify offset. But this gets so much better if we if we take some time to set it up. So if we hit S on the keyboard, let's just go back to offset. We can start typing it in, and there it is. I can hover over offset, click on this arrow, and now it saves that tool in my shortcuts. So now, let me show you the old way of doing it. Let's say I wanted to offset this face. I would have to click, go up to modify, hit offset and then do my offset. But now I can click on the face, hit S, hit offset, done. It's so, so much faster and you can mod and you can modify this however you want. You can add as many shortcuts as you want. You can organize them, etc. So there's a few ways to add them and I already showed you one. So let's just do another one. So I'm gonna type in chamfer and I can hover over chamfer and add it. And once it's in here, you can organize it however you want. Once you get a bunch of them, you can resize this. And then you could organize your tools into rows or columns, however you wanted to do it. The other way to add things to your shortcuts is to go to one of your menus, either create or modify. You can hover over the modifier, click on the three little dots, and hit pin to shortcuts. So now when you hit S, there's my split body. And again, you can click and drag these and organize them how you want. If you do not want one in here, you can click and drag out of the box and then it deletes it. But this just really, really makes things so much more efficient in Fusion, especially when you, when you customize this how you want it. Now, there's another great feature about this, and that's inside of a sketch. So I'm just going to hide this body for now and then create a sketch. So I'm constantly drawing circles and rectangles. And if you hit R on the keyboard for rectangle, it pulls up the rectangle tool. But there's lots of, there's three different rectangles, a two point, a three point, and a center. And it always defaults on the two point. So I'm constantly hitting R. And then I'm like, shoot, I need the center. So I have, I have to hit escape, hit R, go back to rectangle for the center, and then draw it out. Well, now you can add those to the shortcuts inside your sketch. So if I hit S on my keyboard, you can see there's already some here. So uh, let's, let's type in center rectangle. I can add that. And let's say I'm going to be creating a lot of those. I can drag this over. So now instead of hitting the R for rectangle and then coming over here and hitting center, or the other option would be going up to create rectangle, center rectangle. I can just hit S on my keyboard and there I am. And like I said, this just makes things so much more efficient. I love using it. I do change it quite frequently. If I'm doing a uh, model that requires a lot of different types of circles, I may just have the circles up here or the rectangles or, or you know, whatever you want to do. And same thing when you're out working in the design tab, you can just hit S and modify this however you want. And when you close down Fusion, it does save your design shortcuts. So anyways, I hope this has helped. If you have a suggestion for another quick tip or if you have any questions on anything, shoot me a comment and I will try to make a video on it. See you later, guys.